In the coming decades, climate change will mean rising sea level, and that could threaten many of the Earth's most populated, least protected areas. In the face of this potential disaster, countries around the world are looking to Holland for solutions. The Dutch have had centuries of experience with flooding. One third of the country is below sea level. But at the same time, the Dutch themselves are rethinking their traditional strategy for holding back water. Global warming will bring too much water for dikes and pumps to keep back. The new thinking says instead of fighting a losing battle to keep water out, it might make more sense to let the water in and build houses that can rise with the water level. That presents an opportunity for developers, engineers, and architects who are open to the radical concept that houses and communities don't need to be built on dry land. Kuhn Oldhouse is one of these visionaries. The 36-year-old architect founded Water Studio six years ago. The ideas that we have and the things that we are telling people now is, from, okay, just turn around. It's not fighting against the water, it's living with the water. The firm's designs range from simple houses all the way up to a floating cruise ship terminal. Although the vision is expansive, the basic concepts underlying the ideas are simple and derived from another old Dutch staple, the humble houseboat. Water was always the cheapest place to live. We have 16,000 houseboats in Holland, mostly in Amsterdam or around Amsterdam. Those were really for the poor people. And now, in the last 10 years, people think, oh, where are these houseboats? Huh? They're on the edge of the water. Those people have the most beautiful view. and They have the best places with the boat next to the house. The simplest plans have a single house built on top of a floating foundation. This is one of the, the floating houses we did. It's a relatively small one, but built completely for the standards of a normal house. The neighbors are all houseboats, and this is a water house. That's different in, in climate inside, the materials we used, the way we can ensure this building. The building goes another two meters in the water. If you want to see it, yes, follow please. me. Is there ever currents? You ever yeah. feel smooth? Yeah, with uh, stormy weather, it shakes, it bounces up and down. So yeah. it's still a boat. What does that feel like? Well, mm. it, it, it rocks a little, but you get used to it. So. Kuhn and others can take these simple houseboat designs and attach the foundations together to make larger platforms. One of the largest so far is moored just outside Amsterdam, a giant floating prison. It's 100 meters by 20 meters and uh, three stories high. It has a, a complete floating foundation with all the techniques in it, a complete cellar. This technique is the same floating technique uh, as we have been using in houseboats in Holland for, for more than, than 50 or 80 years. It's also the same technique we are going to use for, for projects worldwide that are larger. Some of Kuhn's grandest ideas are taking shape not in his native Holland, but in the Middle East. The Emirate of Dubai has contracted Kuhn and a consortium of Dutch companies to design new floating landmarks. The ideas that we have in Holland that are very difficult to get realized in a short time, we can do in Dubai. For instance, a floating tower, a floating mosque, um, uh, floating islands, all kind of ideas that are more easy to fit in in a country with a strong vision than, than a an, an conservative Holland that uh, rather pushes water out than, than uh, allows to, to build on pond water. The hope is that the technology and experience gained from building in Dubai will then be used back in Holland. We can do now floating foundations. Before we couldn't do that. We know now that, that the climate is changing, we get more water, so that our dikes are not sufficient anymore. So knowing all these elements, it is, it is for us as architects uh, necessary to do the next step. Not only do a facade, but showing people new concepts for how to live with the water. And it looks like the Dutch government may be starting to believe in this vision. It appointed Water Studio to supervise the plans for an entire floating neighborhood. If Kuhn has his way, his two-year-old son Max will eventually grow up in a Holland full of floating houses, roads, parks, and even cities. The future is good, and the future is wet.